Hey, hey you, Jumbo, what's that on your teeth? I don't know. I haven't brushed my teeth in three weeks. That's gross. I think it's a biofilm. What ta- what's that? A biofilm is a group of one or more types of microorganisms that grow on a wet surface. Biofilms form when an individual wandering microorganism finds the right environment and starts to make a home. It starts by attaching to a surface and secreting extracellular polymeric substance, or EPS. What's EPS? EPS is basically a gooey substance that anchors the microorganisms to each other and to the surface. Then the organisms begin to divide, and divide, and divide until there's a whole mass of tiny little organisms all surrounded by that gooey EPS. As we said before, biofilms can grow anywhere as long as it's wet, on or under the ground, in the water, even on plant or animal tissue, which is where the real problem lies. Biofilms are pretty common in the human body. Most microbial infections, about 80%, are biofilms, and they can form on medical equipment in the body, like artificial hips, catheters, pacemakers, artificial heart valves, and even contact lenses. People who have these devices are more susceptible to biofilm infections, and the infections are more likely to be bad due to location. Biofilms may also form inside hospitals' water pipes, which can spread infections. How do you get rid of it? Because biofilms are primarily bacterial, the obvious answer to treating infections would be antibiotics, right? Yes and no. Biofilms increase bacterial transformation, meaning the organisms can exchange genes between each other easily. This heightens antibiotic resistance and converts the neutral bacteria into a potentially more virulent pathogen. Antibiotics can slowly or incompletely penetrate the biofilm, but are unable to fully kill the bacteria due to the altered chemical microenvironment. Another reason that the biofilm infections are so dangerous is that the physical structure of a biofilm reduces the immune system's ability to fend off the infection. Antibodies are unable to penetrate the layer created by the EPS and many layers of microorganisms, and the phagocytes aren't able to eat the foreign body. Biofilms are terrible! Biofilms aren't all bad, though. Biofilms can be used in treating wastewater, heavy metals, and radioactive or explosive materials. Microbial fuel cells use bacteria to convert organic waste into electricity using biofilms that live on the surface of electrodes. This produces low-cost and clean, sustainable energy. There's so much more to discover and innovate in biofilm research, so stay tuned! Hey! Hey you! Ow! Are biofilms, and they can- <gasps> oh, <my God. laughs>